The staple of this channel in the trip port department has definitely been American Airlines Boeing 737-800 flights between Tulsa and Dallas-Fort Worth. Today, we're going to be doing exactly that as we head to Dallas-Fort Worth for the DFW Airline Collectibles Show for 2023. I'm stoked for this, and I hope you are as well. So without any further delay, let's get into the staple, everybody. Welcome to Tulsa International Airport on this beautiful April morning, everybody. You know the drill with TUL security. It took less than five minutes. So with that being said, let's go find our aircraft at Gate Alpha 9. At Gate Alpha 9 is where we'll find November 817 November November, a 13-year-old American Airlines Boeing 737-800. We know the drill at this point, so what are we waiting for? Let's go ahead and go get on board, everybody. Alrighty everybody, welcome to seat 8F, which is a really awesome main cabin extra seat with the bulkhead row, so amazing leg room and some really cool attributes of this seat that we'll talk about in the air, but nevertheless, let's go ahead and begin our pushback everybody. I really hope you all enjoyed this pushback, and be sure to stay on the lookout for all the in-flight videos as those will be coming out very soon. And here we go for our takeoff, everybody. I really hope you all enjoyed this takeoff with the power up and thrust reduction. And be sure to stay on the lookout for the full takeoff videos that will be coming out very soon. Let's go ahead and climb up to our cruising altitude of 22,000 feet, everybody. Alrighty everybody, let's go ahead and kick off this in-flight assessment. So first and foremost, let's take a look at this bulkhead road tray table right here. It's really cool to see how it folds out and also the device holder, which I'm assuming is what this piece is. It's very interesting. I tried it on my iPad. It wasn't amazing, but certainly got the job done. So that was nice. And also the tray table moves forward and backwards. So that's really cool too. Here's the Boeing 737-800 safety card, the red revision. So that's really cool to see. A March 2023 in-flight entertainment uh, menu here, even though it's uh, April now. So that's pretty interesting. But what can you do about it? Still gets the job done for sure and we have this air sickness bag as well so that was certainly very nice to see with all those in-flight amenities and here's a better look at the seat so again this is in the bulkhead road so the leg room is absolutely main, amazing here main cabin extra excuse me but absolutely fantastic right here in front of the first class row so you can see how the seat distribution works for your uh items down there for your personal items so that's nice and you also have quite a divider there what a meme that is and really cool to see this little plastic uh, pouch over here on the right where the safety card goes so that was really interesting so i thought that was really cool another very unique attribute is that seatbelt piece i don't know why they do that but it was really cool to see that really good padding there so it was really cool again here's the trade table it does go forward and backwards which is really nice and also has that really unique device holder which i guess that's what it is but i'm not sure and here's the window view from seat 8f amazing view of the engine it's really good and ultimately it is absolutely fantastic to say the least right there so let's go ahead and talk about the route itself a little bit so of course tulsa dallas we've talked about it many times so i won't go too far in depth but nevertheless it's tulsa international airport's busiest route carrying almost 300,000 passengers 
passengers a year. It's a true uh, cornerstone of Tulsa International Airport with all the connectivity for not only the point to point traffic that goes to Dallas, but also all the connecting traffic, which is the majority of the route. So that's really cool as well. Again, this November 817, November, November, a 13 year old Boeing 737-800 at the time of recording. Gorgeous aircraft that looked really good. The interior looked really nice with the Kodiak revision. The Kodiak is what it is, but luckily it did look really nice on the inside though. So we'll certainly take that all day. And that was absolutely fantastic to say the least. So my initial plan was to combine this trip port into the return flight as well, but I'll explain real quick what happened with that. So DFW security was super long on my return flight. And at this time I did not have TSA pre-check. So I had to get in the normal line, which took well over 30 minutes, about 45 minutes. So I missed my 8.30 AM Boeing 737-800 coming back from the uh, DFW airline show. So what ended up happening was I ended up having to rebook, which I found an amazing deal on the ERJ-175. I will not say any more details until that video video comes out. So apologies, I can't reveal any more, but stay on the lookout for that trip for it, which will be the next one. And you'll see what I'm referring to. Uh, it's really, really cool what ended up happening there. So it ended up being a blessing in disguise. So personally, I wasn't too uh, disappointed about it. It ended up working out really well. So that was certainly very nice right there. So yeah, really good flight, very chill. There wasn't too much to it besides obviously some nice views throughout cruising as you're seeing right now and all the other various amenities. And again, the bulkhead row is really cool. Got a good deal in the seat. So that's why I chose to purchase it for this flight. And I certainly do not regret my decision decision at all. So let's go ahead and get into the landing here. I'm pretty sure we landed on a runway 17 uh, left. I could be wrong. It was 17 left or 17 center. So that was absolutely fantastic, but just made a couple of slight turns, your usual TUL DFW arrival there. So overall, the flight was absolutely fantastic. We had some awesome flight attendants. And again, this bulkhead seat was really cool to get to check out for the first time. I'm not sure if I'm more stunned by the tray table design with that in-flight entertainment holder or the uh, seat belt. So that was certainly really cool. I also really liked the pouch over there for your items. That was really nice the right side so that was really cool to see and ultimately i had an absolutely wonderful experience american airlines is awesome i absolutely love what they're doing uh hopefully they'll continue to improve upon some of their weaknesses but their mile redemptions are absolutely awesome on most of their flights and overall they have a pretty solid product with regards to the seat you know the entertainment is what it is but what can you do about it so we know the staple. I won't elaborate too long so that you all can get back to what you're doing with your days. But if you are enjoying all my content, feel free to keep watching. I greatly appreciate it. And really excited to get you all that content out for the museums that we toured during this trip, the DFW Airline Collectible Show, all the plane spotting, and so much more to come. But nevertheless, here's our landing in the Dallas Fort Worth International Airport. I really hope you all enjoy this. This was a really nice landing and excited for all of you to get to see what this is all about. So let's go ahead and land, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching this trip port on American Airlines' Boeing 737-800 from Tulsa to Dallas-Fort Worth. Be sure to stay on the lookout for all the in-flight videos to come from this leg of the trip, the DFW Airline Collectibles Show video, plane spotting, museum tours about the C.R. Smith Museum and the Frontiers Museum of Flight, and so much more. But nevertheless, that'll do for today's video, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. My name is Roger of Aviation. Thank you easy, everybody. Stay safe. Trust the process. Do you love and love you do. My name is Roger of Aviation. I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all soon as Red Dirt Aviation is signing off.